Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today, working on the Galaxy again. So, I've already started kind of scraping some of the excess grease off the cross member down there. Um, just so I'm not stepping on, you know, a bunch of grease while I'm in there. But my real plan for today is to get into this air condition box. So, um, I got my shop manual over there drying out on that piece of granite. Because I dropped it in the puddle. But that's from the uh, 66 Ford shop manual. It's got a diagram of everything in here. I've got a new gasket kit for this thing. So I'm going to tear into this thing and see if I can uh, figure out how to rebuild it. Okay, guys. So I've started a little bit. I took this cover off right here that was over some of these things. Um, this actuator I tested with the Mighty Back tool. I forget where I put it. It's probably sitting in the floorboard. But it's just a vacuum tester. So I could plug it up right here. And it doesn't hold any vacuum, so I know that's bad. All of these vacuum lines are, are brittle. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna replace you know all of those. But this is kind of what's going on up here. I'd be lost without my uh, shop manual. Oh, I hope I didn't. Okay guys, so I've started to dive into the air condition box. I took the cover, um, this right here. I took this cover off of here, and this is what it looks like underneath it. I already tested this actuator, vacuum actuator, and it's bad. I put an X on it. Everything under here is um, kind of crusty. All of the vacuum lines are brittle. So there's going to be more to replace, I'm thinking. The stuff that's been kind of exposed to the weather. I've also started diagnosing stuff under the dash. This is the tool I'm using to do the diagnose, uh, diagnosing the vacuum actuators. So the way it works is you plug up the end of it and it draws a vacuum and shows you how much vacuum. So I tested two out of the three that you see in here. The one on the right holds vacuum uh, and doesn't leak at all. This one in the middle has a slow leak. And I haven't tested the one on the left because it was the least easy to get a hose to. So, we're making progress, I already know. Um, I'm not certain that I need to replace this one if it's got a very slow leak. I don't know if that's acceptable or not. I gotta do some more research to see if that's gonna be an issue. But I'm making progress. Um, I'm gonna work on taking the box that's on the firewall. I mean, uh, yeah, the firewall from the engine bay side. We'll pop this cover off and see what we got underneath it. The blend doors moved freely as well. Um, when I tested the actuators under the dash. So we're making progress and luckily there wasn't a whole lot of um, rat nests in there. I remember before I disassembled the car, I had the battery hooked up to it. I turned the fan, the uh, blower motor on. And I noticed that it wasn't making a lot of noises, like there was stuff, uh, rat nesty stuff stuck in the fan. So I'm optimistic that the stuff in there is not in terrible condition. It is something I can work with, so I'll update y'all when I make some more progress. Alrighty guys, so I just yanked out this uh, air conditioning box and we'll get it into the shop and we can take a look at it. But. There was just screws holding it all the way around it. Uh, there was one here that kind of tripped me up. Um, it was hiding from me, but I found it. Didn't break nothing. And uh, as I suspected, I don't think we have a lot of issues with the uh, rats getting in here. So that's pretty good. I 
had to disconnect uh, a few things, some wires, vacuum hoses, this Bowden cable, I think is what it's called. So. But alrighty, I'm gonna get this thing in the shop and then we can take a look at it. Alrighty, so before we get into the uh, AC box too far, I got a theory that I can straighten out this bumper using this clamp right here. <clears throat> so we're going to see if this works. anything up yet. <clears throat> I probably ought to move that clamp up a little bit. Okay guys, so that clamp doesn't have any tension on it right now. Um, so you can kind of see the progress I made straightening that bumper out. I'm debating whether I want to do it again. But even that right there is a lot better than it was. The only thing uh, damaged that's not right here, there is a pucker right here. And I'm wondering if hitting that with a hammer with a block of wood or something might help. But um, I'm going to see if I can get this a little bit better, but I'm not going to try too hard. It's already kind of within my uh, standards so alrighty okay guys so I gave it another uh, clamp and then while I had it clamped all the way I actually uh, got the sledgehammer there and beat it on the corner to try to fix that curled lip or bent lip or whatever but I think that's daggum good I mean this whole bumper is getting painted you know, since it's a budget build, we're not going to spring for the re-chroming. The only thing is that pucker under there, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to worry about that. This isn't going to be a show car. We're just trying to make a daily driver. So, yeah, I'm impressed with uh, how that bumper straightened up. On to the air conditioning. Saw this old ride listed for sale, 10 years old, and it looked like hell. All my friends said don't, I replied, oh lord, it's an F-150 long bed Ford. It stores my tools, can haul a load, but it drinks up gas, and now I'm broke. Well, I jacked it up, put on, lifted off, road ties with me logs on. Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does the mud, it wells the sand, it defines me. It's more than practical, it's a statement If you ever think of selling good luck American made, and it's my truck Before I was just another guy Look at me now, I'm way up high Might look like I have it just for show Cause it'll dust up in it the sand it defines me who i am it's more than practical it's a statement if you ever think i said a good luck american made and it's my truck Jacked it up, put on, lift 
kid off road tires with B locks on. Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does the mud as well as the sand. It defines me who I am. It defines me who I am. I jacked it up, put on, lifted off road tires with B locks on. Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does the mud as well as the sand. It Statement if you ever think I'll sell it, good luck. American made, and it's my truck. It's my truck. Everything is 
gonna be alright Whoa, and this is how we Friday night All across the land, every woman and man Counting down to the last minute Wanna block the miles just to get on by Waiting for this day to finish Well, it's almost time for the moon to shine And forget that work, they put it all behind Come twilight, we're gonna get real high Can you feel the vibe? This is why we all came here tonight You can feel it in the air It's something we all share Grab a solo cup, get in the mood Tilt your head back and taste the brew This is our time That's my crew and no one to answer to And this is why we all came here tonight You could feel it in the air It's something we all share Grab a solo cup, get in the mood Tilt your head back and taste the brew This is our time Seems like they just don't get our ways They try to control Loving hard if they 
Alrighty guys, it's the next day and uh, I'm just now digging into my reseal kit. Um, so these are Blendor foams that I have been installing here. I went ahead and put one, I'll go ahead and show you. This big one that was cut out there goes over here for the blend door that actuates uh, inside or outside air. You can see it right there. I've already put that on there. Um, and I'm just trying to make sure I've got all my, using all the parts that I can. This kit recommends taking out the air condition box from the inside too, but I'm hoping I can get by without that. So, they, they really, uh, I'm really impressed with this. They gave me a nice, instruction manual showing me where to put all of the gaskets it's been a big help and the company that makes these i got this on ebay but the company that makes them is detroit muscle technologies um, detroitmusclethechnologies.com and uh, if you're ever doing this kind of project i recommend that uh, company so i think they're the only people that make it anyway so This blend door had two foams. And where the heck did I set it? Right here. So it needs, to, you see that seals up like that. Makes good contact. Now I just need to get that foam on that end. I've been using this ancient can of uh, 3M adhesive, but it's been sticking really well, so. tricky to get it right in the correct spot without moving it a bunch of times. But I think that'll be fine. That looks like that would seal up just fine awesome <clears throat> there's a little blend door thing cut out here I'm not sure exactly where that goes yet I'm gonna study my uh, manual okay guys I've been making more progress on this thing Been putting, been uh, having to study all my uh, paperwork, make sure everything appears to be correct. Putting all my rope caulk and all kinds of other stuff in the right places. Got the blower motor back in. Um, I didn't clean up my bolts, so they kind of stick out like a sore thumb. But daily driver doesn't have to have perfectly clean bolts. <clears throat> we got foam in all kinds of different places some down here to kind of keep it from keep the evaporator from rattling or anything we got this uh piece of foam here the instruction said to use weather strip adhesive which i didn't have so i thought maybe rtv would work and rtv does not work so if you ever do this just go ahead and get you some weather strip adhesive it's going to work well enough for me now i just want to keep it in place while i get it in the car um, but you know, all the bolts and stuff is what actually holds it on there. So, I got my evaporator cover attached um, to my evaporator, 
and the theory is I can just drop this in there um, since I got my rope caulk set up over there I'm thinking I need to once I get this put over there add some rope caulk up in this area I think I was supposed to maybe do that before I put those screws in but not certain also the tricky thing is that that temperature probe has to go in through here and slide between the fins of the condenser <clears throat> so doing all that by myself while that thing's propped up with a two before um, I'm hoping I don't you know drop anything damage anything all this stuff's kind of brittle so I'm gonna wrestle with it I'll let y'all know okay guys we got this thing uh assembled kind of that was uh, a little bit of a bear to kind of wrestle with but we got it in there all the bolts that retain this cover to the assembly um, and all the bolts that hold the evaporator in place are in this little thermostatic uh, probe is in position I put this on here um, rope caulk under that rope caulk under the blower motor rope caulk around all the way around this thing probably gonna stuff some rope caulk up in here put a dollop of it right there and then we might be ready to put her in the car I need to cover this I could probably put the old one back on there just to plug that hole or I could just put a piece of tape on it that's probably what I'll do but um it's kind of interesting to look at this thing oh I put some foam here it looks like it had some so I put some there we got our blend door in here moving around completely free and we got foam on both sides so that it seals properly we've got our blower motor right here we've got our big gasket right here and our evaporator looks to be in usable condition it's kind of a pain in the butt if it's um to get another one of those but if you remember when I took the air conditioned compressor off of the car, disconnected the line, it hissed, which makes me think this thing was holding pressure. So I'm pretty confident in it. I found um, on eBay on yeah on eBay I found this part. I'm gonna. It was the only one. In, on eBay it was a good price I went ahead and bought it I don't know for sure that this one's bad but I bought it anyway just to have a backup and the guy on eBay claimed that this one that his worked so um, and then there's a, a part here that's kind of hard to find um, they don't remanufacture them so you're limited to new old stock and I had it laying around here somewhere. So I put it in this box. <clears throat> it was the um, vacuum. So the heater control. Vac vacuum operated heater control. Where is it? Did I set this on it? Well, here it is. You can see I labeled it heater vacuum thing. There we go. So this is the part that's hard to source. But, and I partially took it apart, basically just finished breaking it. But this rubber vacuum, or rubber diaphragm, is supposed to be connected to...
like this. And it wasn't ripped all the way when I got it, but it was holding zero pressure. So I thought I'd kind of take this thing apart to see what it was. And this is just a rubber gasket. But these things are, um, I found a good used one. I'm a member of the Galaxy Club of America on the Facebook group. And uh, one of the administrators on there deals parts and he helped me out. So got one of those on the way. All that I can change, you know, after this is in the car. Looks like I um, don't have all the bolts. I forgot I dropped this one. I've got to put that, that one in there. So I'm going to do that. Probably plug this. Put some tape on the lines, you know, make some more progress. And I'll give you all an update. Alrighty guys, we got her in there. <clears throat> I think I need this. I got the AC box back in there. Pretty uneventful, luckily. There she is. So hopefully the hardest part's behind us. Um, well, not really if you, you know, we gotta take the fender off to get to that heater box that's tucked behind that inner fender and that hood hinge um, but that's a pro that's you know another day I can do that after the 390 is in here and I think that's my plan I want to get the 390 sitting in here as quick as possible and then you know on weekends here and there I can start plumbing it up or whenever I have like an hour here or there of uh, free time so, um, I think it looks good in there. I didn't go overboard with the paint. I missed a couple spots, but I just kind of left it. I didn't notice that until today, but I didn't want to have to wait for paint to dry again, so I just left it. The other thing I need to do before I put the, air, the uh, engine in here, I need to prep the engine bay. I need to do some painting, some scrubbing kind of make it a little bit more presentable I think would be a good idea but um I still gotta put this cover on there I, I'm gonna take this inside and clean it up with some soap and water and and then set that on there and that'll be that for today I believe so appreciate you guys watching I think uh, that's gonna be it for this video kind of documenting what I had to go through there was a lot of um, stuff I didn't necessarily film because I was uh, figuring it out myself and I didn't want to you know film while I'm figuring stuff out and reading manuals and stuff but that instruction manual that came with the uh, gasket kit was really helpful so if any of y'all are tackling this kind of job I definitely recommend Detroit Technologies I think was the name so Alrighty guys, have a great day, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on this project here.